Okay, this is uh, problem number two from the energy primer. It says, it gives us several things. Uh, one kilowatt hour is 3.6 megajoules of energy. Uh, one BTU is 1,055 joules. One kilowatt hour is 3,412 BTUs. Um, oh, it wants us to show this wants us to prove this. So it's a pretty straightforward set of conversions. We want to get from here to here. And we're going to have to go through joules to get there. So we're given 3.6 megajoules of energy. We know one megajoule is the same as 10 to the 6 joules. That's just what mega means. Um, and we know joules, we, using this conversion factor, there's 1,055 joules in one BTU. So, megajoules go away, joules go away, and multiplying 3.6 times 10 to the 6, 3.6 million, divided by 10, 1,055, we come out to 3,412 BTUs. But that's part A. Number two, part B, asks uh, why would it be incorrect to use this conversion factor directly to determine the amount of coal required to generate in a power plant? Because It all comes down to efficiency. Um, a power plant, nothing. Nothing can be 100% efficient. It's impossible. It, uh, it breaks the, the second law of thermodynamics. Um, that basically states 100% conversion of heat to mechanical electrical energy is impossible. Um, in, in fact, uh, thermodynamics, in fact, a, a power plant is only going to be maybe 30-40% efficient at best. 60% of the, the burned coal is, is going to be lost as weight, waste heat. Okay, that's number two.